Nothing to worry about, sweetness. It didn't sound like nothing. Everything's all right. Don't come in. <laughs> Look at what I have created. See what life has sprung from these fecund loins. I am a superman. I am a god. I am a... buggeration. Oh, no. You haven't dumped me because I dumped you. Mum, Holly split with Billy again. Did you see that? Do you understand what's happened here? Me and Billy is over. I know, sweetheart, but can you, can you take that trainer off the ironing board, please? But past experience tells me that you will be back together by dinner time, so forgive me if I don't crack open the Kleenex. It's serious this time. It's serious every time. Jesus Christ. This is absolutely the worst day of my life. Don't you dare come in here like that. No! We'd use those bloody condoms. Every single day, my darling. Every single day. Look at my paper. I suppose we'd better be making a move. can just sit here in silence for a bit longer. Either's fine with me. <laughs> oh, no, no, come on, you've got to go. Oh, just one more time. You've said that the last three times. Are you keeping count? I'm nearly 40, Chloe. This has been a very impressive night for me. I'm, I'm thinking of having a certificate printed up. For four times? <laughs> no, no, you don't get a certificate for four times. They will laugh you out of the certificate shop. You have to manage at least five in a 24 hour period to even justify a certificate. Five? I was already shooting dust on the last one. Mm. <laughs> Get off, you're insatiable. No, I am satiable. <clears throat> I'm completely satiable. One more time and I will be satiated, temporarily satiated, but satiated nonetheless. So, associate me, Ian. I want you to associate me now. You're clever and filthy. You're my ideal woman. It's not gonna happen. Mm -hmm. yeah, you're like Carol Vorderman, without the overwhelming need to advertise every single product in existence. Yeah, like you can talk. Well, I've done two adverts. Actually, did you know that Vorder is Dutch for a woman who is nearly as clever as a... as, as a man, as a Jack Jack. Shut up and associate me. <laughs> Tragically, that seems to be doing the trick. <laughs> Happy anniversary, my sweetheart. Happy anniversary, light of my life. Do you know? Do you know how much? What, what are you wearing? A suit. That's your best suit. Well, yes, it's a special occasion. <laughs> it's four hours before anyone arrives. I am a grown man, Margaret. I think I can keep myself clean for four hours. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you don't have to worry. I tell you what, I will go and sit completely still in the lounge. No, I've cleaned in there. Kitchen? Well, I'm just about to start preparing a meal for 12 people. Well, what shall I do for four hours? 
Shall I go and sit on the toilet? You absolutely cannot use either bathroom. Well, for four hours? Look, if it's an emergency, you can use upstairs, but do not use the towels. I've got the best visitor towels up already. It's only the family. They don't care. Chloe's not family. Not yet, anyway. She's not likely to be if we give her the wrong impression. Oh, I get it. You think that the towels might swing it. I'm sorry, Ian. I can't marry you. It's just that when I first met your parents, I noticed that one of their towels was not as, as fluffy as I'd hoped. Just don't have time for this, Ken. You skedaddle. Oh, but what shall I do? I mean, what will become of me? Uh, ah, shall I stand in the garden until they all get here? That would be best. Oh, no, I forgot. <laughs> there we are. Oh, no. no, not the bloody pavilion. No, no, no. Will you get no, into the garden with your bloody pavilion? But this Tell is just to... a... I just... <laughs> oh, God. Why are you not there Oh, Ollie, can you get off the phone? Fuck off! Got to go, my bloody mum. Can you ready, please? I was ready. I'm telling you, you're paying for that dress if it's stained. It wasn't me, it was Tilly. I can't control a dog. I'm not Tarzan of the dogs, am I? What a mop. Outside. Wait. Mark. Oh, no, no, so no. Anyway, it doesn't matter because I'm not going Yes, now. you are, young lady. Hello, Pete. Whatever your mother said. You can't make me. Well, I shouldn't have to make you. You should want to celebrate your grand and granddad's big day. Oh, I can't think of anything. You can just stop that right now because this is one day where you're not going to make yourself the centre of attention. Anyway, there is no way you're going to miss seeing Uncle Ian's new girlfriend. Well, I'm not going to babysit for Phoebe again. She is a weirdo. No, she's not. Yes, she is. She spends all her time on the computer. Unlike you. No, she's not playing games like a normal person. She's writing stuff and looking stuff up on the internet. Not even for school, just for herself. I imagine that. I know, it's mental. Granted, she may be more intellectual than you. Than us. Than Stephen Hawking's. But she is your cousin, and blood is thicker than you are, so you're going to be nice to her. Oh, you're going to be nice to Auntie Amanda. Yes. Yeah, you hate Auntie Amanda, don't you, Mum? I don't hate anyone, Holly. You hate Auntie Amanda? I heard you tell Grandma she was a bitch. <laughs> Mark, I would never use such a word. I called her a witch. <laughs> it's a totally different thing and chillingly accurate. Now, go and get dressed. I want to get dressed now. Right. Okay. Um, if, if I could just uh, come back and do that later. Okay, oops. <laughs> do you think. Uh, are you going to be long? I just need to check for the traffic. Wow, you look, you look lovely. Hey, how about a big hug for your old dad, eh? Laters! Who's in there? It's me! I'm having a shower! I'm in the supermarket on Boston. Well, I won't be long. Just by me, I'll only be a minute. Come on, please. I'm coming. Okay, no! What? Well, couldn't you wait waited for two minutes? Oh, God! Can you ever think, you know, if you can do this, then where's the mystery? Well, there's still some mystery, sweetheart. I mean, until I'm doing this on a glass coffee table with you underneath looking up, there's still some mystery. Married, it doesn't mean we have to totally forget about romance, does it? This is romantic, my darling. We're so at ease with each other that I can have a dump in the same room as you. 
I mean, what could be more romantic than that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you put it like that, it is hard to think of anything. I uh, don't suppose you fancy me joining you, do you? I'm not really in the mood. Suit yourself. Hey, watch out. Sorry. <laughs> I thought it was the plug hole. <laughs> Come on, we've got to get going. Oh, no, no. Nobody's going to mind it for a few minutes late. I really want to be on time for this one. My family are always going on about how I'm late for everything, and I just want to prove them wrong. But you are always late for everything. It's hardly the point, is it? Come on. Let's go. Oh, what's got into you today? I don't know. I'm just... I'm a bit nervous about you meeting my family. They're a bit embarrassing and weird. <laughs> Weirder than you? Yeah. Right, so weirder than a bloke that gets aroused by the countdown thing. Well, it was only partly that. Just so long as it's only partly. <laughs> You're lucky I can tame myself. <laughs> when I was going to come, I really wanted to go... Do -do 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 <laughs> You're a bit of a nerd, aren't you? Yeah. I, I was hoping you wouldn't notice. It's all right. kind of like it. <laughs> come on. Oh, get, oh. get off me, you evil pig. <laughs> Nice. You all right? Yeah, it's, it's just quite a hard position to get out of with, with, with any dignity. Oh, I think your dignity has been irretrievably compromised, baby. <laughs> Hello, Margaret Snell speaking. You can drop the phone voice, Mum. It's only me. I do not have a phone voice, Jane. Well, you have a non-phone voice, then. An affected voice you use for all the occasions that you are not speaking on the telephone. Look, I don't have time for all this. Your father's already put me behind schedule, him and his bloody golf pavilion. I tell you, I'm going to give that man another 45 years, and if he hasn't perked up his ideas, I'm going to start looking for someone else. What on earth? What? Oh, that's your father. What's he doing? What is he doing? That's what I'd like to know. If the young woman next door sees. Blimey, Mum, what's he doing? Uh, I'll have to ring you back. What have you done, Ken? Well, don't even think about coming into my clean house, no. Mm. No, no. Margaret, no, no, the boat's ring. been with the same person for 45 years. I've only had about three relationships that have lasted more than 45 days, and by then I have been so annoyed with whoever I'm with, I would have happily shot a spike right into their face. <laughs> Great, so what, I've got a fortnight left. Yeah, yeah, you're safe, for now. But I do have my spike gun at home, primed and ready. Oh, that's the nice. <laughs> I managed three years with a guy at college. By the end of that, I felt like I had had liposuction of my soul. Like, oh, all my individuality had been sucked out of me and was floating off like a balloon. You know, I was sinking under the sea, just watching it go, accepting that this is how it was going to be for the rest of my life. That sea stuff's just a, a metaphor, right? It didn't literally happen, because if you want me to chain you up under the sea, if that's the kind of thing you're into, you just have to ask. Uh, I could dress up as a crack, and if, if that'd get you going. It's a metaphor. Shame, it? You get so little use out of that crack and costume. It was an impulse buy, really, I should. I just saw it in the shop. It's good, I'm like, that's what I'd do. If I ever got to wear it, that's what I'd do. But. Stop with the next services. Hmm? It's just that we're, um, yes, 
we're down to our last quarter of a tank of petrol. That's it's probably enough to get us there, all right, but you know, maybe we should. Should err on the side of caution. Yes. Yes. Oh. Thank you for all your input. I shall take it on board, but uh, ultimately the decision shall be mine. My brothers and a nerdy cousin and a load of old people. Woohoo! Look, if you give us a smile, we can have some champagne. Seriously? Yes! I mean, what kind of mother would I be if I didn't teach you that the way to heal broken dreams is through booze? Beautiful booze. Cool. Wow, I'm in a heartbreak pretty quick, Hol. Did you see that? She just called me a wanker. Can you not use that word in front of your little brother? Yes. You may be an expert in the subject, but he doesn't need to know what it's called. Dad! Oh, if you put half the effort into your schoolwork. Oh, happy, happy anniversary! anniversary. <laughs> Sorry we haven't brought much food, only the rest got covered in dog water. Oh, it wasn't my fault. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Oh, thank you, darling. Oh, uh, we're already completely out of whack, thanks to your father. Then... Oh, what happened, Mum? Uh, I told him not to wear his best suit. What are you missing? Blimey, Grandad, what happened? Don't ask. Grandma's been beating you up again. <laughs> They'll be daft. Uh, it's all, Margaret. Shall we crack open the canopies? I am starving. No, no food till everyone gets here. What? Well, you're kidding. Oh, don't worry about that, Peter. We've got some shampoo on ice for you lot. Who fancies that then, eh? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, yeah, nice one, Grandad. <laughs> oh, Dad. What? <laughs> Look, I said shampoo, and here it is. Oh! <laughs> well, half a minute, your daddy. Well, well, that's not a bad one, is it? Look, you thought I meant champagne. I meant shampoo. I had to set all this up, you know. You had to put some shampoo in an ice bucket. Yeah, well, it took some preparation. Come on, what's wrong with you lot? Well, I think it's funny. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, do you have any actual champagne, Ken, or are we just drinking head and shoulders? No, of course I do. Might be a bit warm, though. I've only got one ice bucket. I'll be going to make some kind of effort by the time we get there. It's a big day for Mum and Dad. Maybe it'll be less excruciating for everybody if at least we could pretend we're getting on OK. Serious? Do you seriously think that could even begin to work? I don't know, Amanda. I don't even know why I even bother. You know how I feel about my parents. Yeah. Secretly really quite like it if I ruined the whole thing. Oh, very clever. You tell me to make an effort, knowing I'm bound to do the exact opposite. The day goes tits up, and you get all the sympathy for having the nightmare wife. Do you honestly think I'm that Or did you realise that I'd realise that, and therefore I'd end up doing exactly what you wanted me to do, which is to be all smiles and sunshine? Oh, God. When did this happen? When did we get this cynical and screwed up? Ooh, I don't know. Was it around about the time you fucked your secretary? Yeah, I think it was about then, yeah. Your secretary, Jesus Christ. How delightfully unimaginative. How many times do I have to apologise for that? Not enough. <sighs> Please. I just want to get through one day in my life where my daughter is... A shame that I'm her father. Because somewhere deep inside this rotten, rattled corpse you've created is the ghost of the person who used to love you. And somewhere deep inside of you, hidden pretty effectively, I have to say, is the ghost of what my ghost used to love. Happy anniversary! 
Simon, the Amanda. <laughs> do, do come in. How lovely to see you. Oh, <laughs> hey, Dad. <laughs> I'm Dean Ed. Nothing. <laughs> Mama, look who's here. Is it Ian? No, it's Simon and Amanda. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> She's excited about meeting Chloe. Oh, don't worry, we all are. <laughs> <laughs> a bit much, this might be a bit much. I can't read it. Neither can I. Come on then, in you go. Ah. Thank you very much. Here we are. Thank you. Oh, Simon. Oh. Hello, Jane. Good to see you. Lovely to see you. And you, and you. Oh, Jane, lovely to see you. Hey, Phoebes. Hey, everybody. Uh, It's Phoebe. uh, How you doing, Phoebes? Hey, Phoebes. Nice day, isn't it? Don't worry about Phoebe. She's not really talking much at the moment. One of those phases we all go through. I never went through a phase of not talking. Worst luck, you should give it a try, sis. <laughs> Simon, Amanda, how about some shampoo, eh? Oh, desperate for some care. <laughs> Hello, Mark. Hello. Oh, Ken, that's priceless. <laughs> it's just one of the better ones, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, it's even better the second time. And I suspect you're going to experience that joy. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, thank you. Oh, you know, the worst thing about having a happy childhood is it doesn't give you any excuse for being an arsehole. People whose parents used to beat each other up and lock them in cupboards don't know how lucky they are. If they behave like an arsehole, they can blame on their upbringing and then write a book and make millions. If I behave like an arsehole, people can only assume it's because I am an arsehole. Baby, your parents are bastards for not abusing you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Chloe. Chloe, something else say. Yeah, I know. Get a red look, we're going to get arrested. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, God. Look, come on. We can't do this. Look, I'm a man. I can't multitask. Jesus, stop it. We're going to die. No, don't, don't stop. Oh, no, it's Chloe. Oh, God. Oh. Hope there hasn't been an accident. There hasn't been an accident. It's just Ian being selfish as usual. It's difficult for him. He's the youngest. He's nearly 40. He's still the youngest, Simon. You're older than him. You've got to take that into account. Surely now we're both middle-aged. It sort of evens out, doesn't it? I could go and have a look at CFAX, see if there's been any hold-ups. Oh, you and your CFAX. He watches the football on it, waiting for the scores to change. Well, it can actually be as exciting as being there. <laughs> Simon does that too. You're turning into your dad, dear. Ken, could I have some more shampoo? I mean the drink, not the hair care product. <laughs> yes, I did understand. Shall we save some champagne for other people, do you think? There's plenty to go around. Here's to you, Ken and Maggie. <laughs> Margaret. To Mum and Dad. Ken. This isn't so bad. Well done. Quite enjoying doing oh. stuff as a couple again. No. Oh. <laughs> In the best. <laughs> oh. Ian, where are you? What are we doing? Uh, this is more difficult than you'd think. Oh, oh watch, oh, it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Sorry, I'm oh, sorry, I just haven't done this before. Go oh, outside. Oh, well, yeah, that as well, but I mean, standing up. Oh, uh, are you kidding? No, I'm taking a lot of boxes today. Um, <laughs> oh, you are surprisingly inexperienced <laughs> for such a hard. Oh, I'm not inexperienced, just I'm just lazy. Uh, sex is hard enough work as it is without having to take on the force of gravity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And to be honest with you, that is really putting me off. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> this is how you do it, human style, mate. Oh, there we go. Engage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hi there. Mm. Lovely, lovely day for a, a bit of dogging. <laughs>
Sure you don't want to go, Phoebe? If she doesn't want to go, she doesn't want to go. Just being polite, Gaylord. Calling me a Gaylord's very polite. I'm not interested in being polite to you, you scrotum. I hate the way they assume that just because we're cousins we're going to have stuff in common. Look at us. We don't have anything in common. Maybe you have. I think you two girls go for a good long chat. Yeah, you pair of chatterboxes. What kind of music do you like, Phoebe? Can I see your iPod? Right. Mostly classical. All classical. Classical? You can't call that rubbish. How old are you? Be nice to your cousin, Nick. She's... So, do you have a boyfriend? Well, at last, there's something you two have in common. You're funny. Look, is there anything you want to talk about? Because, to be honest, I'm not bothered. Why don't you say anything? What's wrong with you? Why don't you speak? Just say something, anything. Sankali! <laughs> Nice car. What? This old thing. It's got a sat nav mark. How you doing, you little idiot? Have you got a girlfriend yet? No. <laughs> or boyfriend if you're gay. Oh, I want you to know it's all right if you're gay, Nick. We'll, we'll all love you just as much. I'm not gay. You're gay. Oh, well, that's very nice. You're calling Chloe a man. <laughs> Look, I wasn't calling you a man. I'm not a man. Well, at least not anymore. Hi. I'm Nick. Hi, Glee. Oh, strawberry. Oh, stop calling me that. <laughs> My name's Holly. Oh, I'm Chloe. Hi. But you said you'd changed your name. You wanted everyone to call you Strawberry. Well, I was nine. You're in very insistent. You really should have thought that through. It's blood with Billy, Uncle. Oh, no, but you were so perfect together. Oh, thank you. Finally, someone who understands. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mark. Look at him. Big, handsome lunk. Look, he, he's almost as tall as me now. How old are you now, Mark? 21. No, you can't be 21. I'm 21. You were born about three years ago. I'm 21. You're in your dreams, old man. I might just have to trade you in for a younger model. He's much nearer my age. Hello. Well, yeah, just. What time do you call this? Sorry, Dad, there's a bit of a hold-up on the A350. Really? What a little sea fat. Hot. I see you haven't repaired your razor yet. I thought it was a tramp coming down the path. Why haven't you face? What happened to yours? Stop with you two interviews, Mr. Chloe. Chloe, this is our mum and dad. Oh, hello, Chloe. <laughs> hello, it's nice to meet you, Mrs. Nell. Oh, you made my day. <laughs> Don't tell the wife, and uh, you can call me Ken, please. <laughs> okay. Lovely to meet you, Chloe. Hello. I'm Margaret. Oh, hello, Margaret. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry about Ken's suit. Oh, his suit seems fine. Well, he insisted on putting his best one on early, you see. She said my suit is fine. Well, she's just being polite. <laughs> what kept you? I was worried. <laughs> Mum, I'm 39. You can stop worrying about me now. I'm never going to stop worrying about mm -hmm. you. Oh, you know, Chloe, when you have children, you'll never stop worrying, Ah, oh, there you are. Jane! This oh, yeah, <laughs> is Jane and Pete. Hello. All right, mate. Hi. Hello. Right, they're all here now. Let's get the food out, yeah? Oh, uh, uh, um, yeah, um, uh, Ken? Excuse me. Uh. Oh, you're gorgeous, aren't you? So are you. <laughs> I don't be daft. <laughs> nice to meet you. Mm, you too, I'm Chloe. Hello. Hello! This is Simon and Amanda. So, you two are looking happy. Have you joined a cult? No, no, we're just pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Even better. That can't be little Phoebe, hello? Come on, you two. There's shampoo on ice. It's literally shampoo, isn't it? He's put some sh shampoo in an ice bucket. Oh, yes. <laughs> Ta da! It's not funny, Dad, and it's, it's not even on ice as it's in some water, so. Only because you were two hours late. He's always late, isn't he? I tried everything to hurry him up, but he wouldn't listen to me. Do you know what, Ken? I think it's really funny, considering all the preparation and everything. Exactly. <laughs> I'm sorry about Ken. I issue a blanket apology now for the entire day. It's quicker. <laughs> and can I take your coat? Oh, yes, please. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. 
Oh, Ian's got himself another cracker, eh? Look at her. Firm, young breast. Cute little bum. Oh, the things I could teach her are about premature ejaculation. Lucky, lucky bust. It's not happy. It looks happy. Not inside. Now, what's he got? <laughs> what, apart from the flash car, cushy job and string of beautiful women? He's alone. Apart from the women? Inside, Pete. He's empty. <laughs> Are you sure? He looks happy to me. Yeah, that's all the front. He's an actor. That's just... It's just acting. You get a lot of exercise. It's so shallow, isn't it? <laughs> well, would you? Would you swap places with him? Oh, God. Well, I mean... It'll be fun for a while. But I'd miss the wife and the kids. No. I'd be back with my tail between my legs in 10, 20 years. So, Chloe, you're another actress, are you? A man actress, yeah. Yeah. I know Ian does like his actresses. I'm an actor. I meet other actors. If it was a plumber, I'd bring back other plumbers. Probably. Yeah, you'd like that. Gay. Female plumbers, sexist. Oh, I wasn't suggesting Ian's always bringing back millions of actresses, you know, different one each time. <laughs> Did you meet on a job, Chloe? No, three friends. Hardly likely to be a job. He hasn't been on a box for ages. Ken. Well, that's not true. Forever catching your car insurance advert thingy on cable. Why are there so many car insurance companies all claiming that they've got the best deal? You want to go <laughs> driving, but they're driving you crazy. <laughs> Drivingyoucrazy.co.uk is a great new site that does all the work for you. <laughs> yeah, they, they told me to do it like that. I, mean, I have done other stuff. I'm, I'm going to take the bags up. Um, um, where, where are we sleeping? In Simon's old room. Both of us. Are you famous? If you're having to ask me that question, the answer's probably no. Well, have you met any famous people? I was in a Woody Allen film. Well, he doesn't know who Woody Allen is. Are you going to marry Uncle Ian? No. Stop! <laughs> Stop bugging Chloe. It's just silly and rude. I'm so sorry about him, Chloe. But are you going to marry Uncle Ian, though? Are you? Mm. Are you going to marry him? We don't have to answer, but... Mm. Are you? <laughs> you are, aren't you? <laughs> are you? <laughs> Margaret, have you got any old baby photographs of Ian that I could look at, please? Really? <laughs> yeah, I would love to see them. Well, you are the first one who's ever asked that of, of Ian's um, friends. Yeah, it's really like looking through other people's photographs. Oh, well, Ken, would you mind getting the photographs, please? Uh, well, what photographs? Who told you about them? Uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Our photograph albums. Chloe would like to see them. Uh, actually, where are the photos? <laughs> Garage where they always are. It, it, has anybody seen a, a box file with photos of the pavilion oh, on top? Oh goodness! Sake, can we just have one day without mentioning that? <sighs> He's obsessed, Chloe. With what? Sorry. The, the bloody, bloody pavilion. pavilion. Please, I don't call it that. There's no call for swearing. Yeah, that's right, you little fuckers. <laughs> 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 Margaret, look at these. Oh, you were beautiful. Oh, Ken, weren't you a fox? What do you mean, weren't? Oh, well, you, you still are a fox, of course. Just the hounds have got to you now. You are such a loser. I don't know what I ever saw in you. Polly, not now. That's Ian. Oh, you were so cute. Oh, he was a beautiful baby. Yeah, I wonder what happened in the interim. <laughs> He couldn't help but love him. Well, somehow I managed not to. Do you remember when he was a toddler and he was really ill? 
How can I forget? We didn't think he was going to make it. And this is awful, but I prayed to God that he would save Ian, and in return, he could take one of my babies when they were born. Well, never since I've heard of that sacred pact, I've been praying to God that he take Nick. <laughs> Get lost. <laughs> take him, he's a waste of oxygen. <laughs> Look at that one. Oh, well, at least some things haven't changed. Blame it. Must have been a very cool day. <laughs> so, Simon, how are things going at your work? You still don't know what I do, do you? Of course I do. I've told him a hundred times and he still doesn't remember. I do, I just, uh, you know, I find proper jobs com confusing, but I, I do know. Okay, yes, so, um, what is it then? I'm just trying to think of the exact job title. Oh, just a gist will be fine. The area I vaguely work in. You work in an office. Oh, dear God, he really doesn't. Look, come on, you must have some idea. Stop bullying him, Simon. He just got here. I'm not bullying. Don't take any notice, darling. You sit down and enjoy your drink. It's unbelievable. You know that I know what you do really, right? Because I came to see you that time in the office. So, so what do I do? Office stuff. stuff. Well, I, was, I was a bit distracted. I, I have to tell you, kids, Uncle Simon has got a right cracker of a secretary. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry, how clumsy. Mum, no harm done. Oh, and, uh, it's just oh. a silly accident. I'm sorry, those flutes were beautiful. Oh, no, don't worry about sorry. that. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, sorry. Oh. You idiot. What did I do? <sighs> Bet you can't believe it, Jane. My blood's red, not green. Yeah, and you can get splashed by water and not even melt a little bit. Can I get you anything? Ooh, perhaps a shot of brandy, Margaret. I have had quite a shock. Oh, OK. Uh... Thank you. <sighs> there. Now, how do you feel? <sighs> Honestly? Well, yes. Honestly, I don't know. No, I just don't know if I can... Where's Phoebe? Ken! Is Phoebe in there? Not in here, no. Not worried about your daughter? Phoebe! Hmm? Where are you, darling? Oh, just go to the nearest computer. She'll be plonked in front of it. No, there's... There's something wrong, Art. <laughs> Off. She wouldn't just run off. So there's no reason why she'd run off? No. Oh, God! <laughs> Have you checked upstairs? Yes. Have you? I I'll do it now. Uh, go! Phoebe! 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 Oh, there you are. Oh, thank you. Didn't you hear me calling? Why didn't you say anything? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It is. Oh, you scared me to death. Oh, what are you doing up here on your own? It's a party. Why don't you go downstairs and play with your cousins? You're a quiet one, aren't you, darling? Well, that's OK, because I'm a quiet one too. Though maybe you wouldn't think so if you'd heard me shout in the house down just now. I know that your mum and dad haven't had the best of times mm. recently. I haven't seen them so happy since, well, ever really. Ah, oh, right. Well, she's here then. I mean, you didn't feel the need to shut down and actually tell me she was here, but um, yeah, that's fine. I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to panic you. I, I was just. Worried? Yes, well, you're always worried, but as usual, there was absolutely nothing to be worried about, was there? I mean, I just, I just don't understand why you spend your whole time in constant fear. 
I mean, it's not as if anything bad's ever happened to your whole life. Well, you don't know what's happened to me. Well, you can't protect people from everything, Mum. You have to let people take risks. I'm not having you smothering my daughter the way you... Well, the way you smothered me. Shall we go downstairs, uh, Phoebe? I've made some profita rolls. You can lick the bowl clean if she you like. She doesn't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. All right? Now, do you want me to stay up here with you, Phoebe? Hmm? Oh, well, you know, do you want to go downstairs with Grandma? Chloe, I thought you might like some of these new Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> They're called Doritos, Dad. And they've been out for about ten years. Well, you say Doritos, I say Doritos. Yes, but significantly the people who make Doritos say Doritos, and everybody else seems to follow that convention. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I thought today was my anniversary. Not the Extract the Michael out of Dad day. Every day is Extract the Michael out of Dad day, yeah. Dad. We mainly need to extract the Michael out of you for using the phrase Extract the Michael. <laughs> you see, Chloe, they don't respect me in this family. It's awful, Ken. Um, <laughs> I've been summoned, excuse me. No, I, you know, I can't believe how mean and rude you all are to your dad. He's so lovely. He wasn't always so lovely, believe you me. God, don't stop. Start. It's not him that's embarrassing, it's you. I know, uh, I know I'm being childish, I can't help it. Every time I come home I revert into this stupid, surly, self-conscious teenager. Yeah, well you and everybody else in the world. I mean, you must have heard of the theory of relativity. Einstein. Huh. E equals mc squared. Distance and time are relative to... Do you want to back up there a bit, Poindexter? The observer. The first theory of relativity states that time moves more slowly when you spend it with your relatives. <laughs> no arguing with that. Mm -hmm. And yeah. the second theory of relativity is that time spent with your family and time spent in the real world move at different speeds. So you could leave your family for decades and when you finally come home again, only a few seconds have elapsed. I mean, like, nothing's changed at all. So the youngest is still treated like the baby even when they're 40. I'm 39. And the oldest is still expected to set a good example, so they get the hardest time for even the smallest misdemeanor. Well, that makes some sense. And what about the middle child? Oh, well, the middle child could do the most amazing things and nobody's ever going to notice because the other two are just busy making so much noise. Yes. Forget Einstein, this woman is a genius. I'm the middle one, too. I think you and I are going to get on. In fact, if he doesn't want you, I'll go out with you. Jane! Oh. Chloe! I choose the one woman in the world I don't want you to sleep with. It's fine by me. Dinner's nearly ready. Grandma wants all you kids out in the garden to blow off steam. Right? Off you go. And you grown-ups, come on, get up. Two grown-ups, she wants help in the kitchen. Right? Just sit over there. Ooh. I just don't buy your theory, I'm afraid. Um, Chloe, I mean, we're not reliving our childhood, are we? I, mean, I wouldn't spend more than five minutes in his company when I was a child. I wasn't going to waste my time hanging around a barely formed fetus face like yours, was I? The one thing I do remember about you was that you were always afraid. You used to torture me. What about that time you, you heated up a spoon on the flame of a stove, held it against my bare back and then said, is that hot? That never happened. How can you not remember? I had to go to casualty. There's the scar. Hey. So, um, was it hot? Yes, it was. But uh, you'll rue that day, big brother, because I've been biding my time waiting for you to grow old and weak so I can have my revenge. And, you know, I believe that day has arrived. It's payback time. Stop it. Someone will get hurt. Oh, come on, there, Come on. Yeah, you want something? Yeah. Oh, lovely. Oh, this is what I have to put up with, you know. Oh, look, this is typical of his character. Oh, fight, fight, fight. Come on. Get it on. Oh, <laughs> Oh. 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 Submit! No! 
Stop. Come on. Stop. Come on. Submit. Oh, no, submit. Submit. <laughs> okay. Who's best? You or me? It's me. Get oh, God, Norris. It's you. It's you. It's you. It's you. And what else? No. Get no. Come on. Come on. I, Say it. I am Joey Dick. Yes. Oh. <laughs> hey, thank you. And I thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sometimes when I look at Simon, I have to pinch myself and ask, is this really the man I married? <laughs> and then when the pinching doesn't wake me up, I start smashing my head against a wall, see if that'll do the trick. Just running and hurling myself headlong into a threshing machine. Dear God, let this nightmare be over. <laughs> Bit in the wedding vows for better for worse. Do you think they put the for better bit in as a kind of joke? Or perhaps to give people some false hope that there was at least some chance of improvement? Or maybe it was just to make it scan better. I mean, just saying for worse, for definite worse would be a little bit negative on such a big day. This <laughs> is very funny, Amanda. Oh, no help. Oh. What's okay? What are you doing in the garden? Sorry. Go. Oh, I'm just going to have a little bit of 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 Come on, we've nearly got through it. It's only another, oh Jesus Christ, four hours to go. <sighs> Time really does move more slowly, doesn't it? I'll get you another drink. doing that, you're going to mess your second best suit as well. Do you see Thank my you. Name? It's been like this all day. Come and play. Do you want to? Yeah, try and stop me. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, have you seen Dad's new koi cart? No. Come with me, I shall show you. Excuse us, just, just for a bit. I just want to show him these fish. Okay. Nice. It's a bit murky, you can't really see anything. Shut up, I'm not interested in the bloody fish. She's gorgeous! Go on, spill the beans. Is she the one? Well, I don't know. No, my God, she is, isn't she? Shut up. She is there, isn't she? This is it. I don't know. How, how, how do you know who the one is? How, how did you know Pete was the one? Well, you just... You just know when you found your soulmate. Oh. <laughs> coming. How does she make you feel? Happy. Excited. I can't stop thinking about her. Confused. Despondent. Physically sick, like I've got a debilitating vibe. Yes! Brilliant! No, no. These fish are really bloody amazing! You're in love. My little brother's in love. All you do is you get the ball like that, and then with a the flick of the wrist, you hit it. All right? I'll show you. Stand back a bit, I don't usually get hurt. You see, that was that was not bad. I haven't done it for a long time, but you see what we've got to do. Have you told her yet? Have you said it? No. Oh, you've got to tell her. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I can't tell her. Oh, yes, you can. Oh, you'd ruin everything. No, you wouldn't. You've got to tell her. No. No. Your problem is, is that you think love is like a roller coaster, all that crazy and exciting and dangerous, but in reality, Love is like a seesaw. What, fun for about five minutes, then boring as hell? No, no, because it's all about balance. Love is comfortable, and love is safe, and love is is you having a shower while they're having a poo. Right. That was the last cartoon in the Love Is franchise, as I remember. It got dropped after that for some reason. I can't... 
There you are. I'm sure you can do it. Go on. <laughs> no, now concentrate, concentrate. Take a deep breath, that's it. Position. Oh. It's getting better, it's getting better. I do sometimes wonder what would have happened if I hadn't met Pete and got up the duff quite so early. As a kid, I couldn't wait to leave home, and yet here I am, practically living next door to Mum and Dad. It's pretty dull, eh? I'd swap places with you in a second. Not so much the shower, poo, Pete thing, but the rest, you know. You're lucky you've done the whole family thing. You've got the rest of your life ahead of you, and you're old enough to appreciate it. You can join a band, trek through the Himalayas, take a string of young lovers. That's a nice thought. <laughs> yes, you see, wonderful, wonderful. Right, let's have a game. Oh, two champions playing together. Come on in, do your worst. Ah! Dad! I'm fine, I'm absolutely fine. Oh boy, thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. Well done, good shot. But don't do it again. Oh, oh no, you're, you're going to have to change again. Oh no, I don't want to change It's like looking after a toddler. Oh, what have you done to your nose? Well, yeah, I, yeah. Oh. You've got a neck friend. It's a bloody golf pavilion for them. And it's actually bloody, because it's got oh, blood shush, on it. Shush. What the hell's been going on here today? Yeah, Mum hates that thing. You don't think she's clogged in with it? <laughs> no. No. Trouble in paradise. Dinner is served. Your brother is so easy to wind up. <laughs> so how are you enjoying the madhouse so far? I'm having the best day. Your family is so funny. Thank you. So did you mean it then? I mean what? The stuff about you having me if Ian doesn't want me. Well, yeah. Gotta try everything once. No, but seriously. I mean, if you meant it, then... Well... Oh. <laughs> Blimey, um... It could be our little secret. Look, I think you're great, but I don't... I'm totally fucking with you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you're just oh. as easy to end with your brother. <laughs> well, Ken, I hope you're happy sitting there in your third best suit. <laughs> yes, I am happy. What do you mean? Or is your third best suit the same as your second best suit and your first best suit? <laughs> well, how do you discern the difference? Oh, no, no, the quality is quite different. <laughs> Chloe, have you had any salad? I grow the tomatoes myself, you know. Oh, no, I haven't. Oh, you must have some. Ken's renowned for his tomatoes. Everyone loves Ken's tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's true. What, do, you, do you remember when you broke up with Sally? Mum? Oh, I'm sorry, um, Chloe. You're not his first girlfriend. What? Well, I'm shocked. No, she wrote to us and said, um, I won't miss Ian, but I will miss Ken's tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Greg. laughs> oh, God. <laughs> No, not those tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I understand, Margaret. Don't worry, Ian. I'll always prefer you to a tomato. Mm -hmm. Although, saying that, these are really good, Pam. <laughs> mm. So, Mama, today is not only the anniversary of our wedding. 45 years ago tonight, something else happened, too. Mm. Ken. Well, kids, in those days... We had to wait until we got married. Mm. You couldn't jump into bed with anyone you fancied. Worse luck. <laughs> Nine years of courting, Graham and me. Nine years? You must have had tomatoes the size of beach balls. <laughs> <laughs> That's not to say that we hadn't experimented in other areas. Oh, no, 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 no
Queen Kenneth. <laughs> Nonsense, it's a party. Let's have some more. Oh, I'll be back. <laughs> what happened to your nose, Dad? Oh, nothing, really. Mm, we found this in the garden. Oh, I've been looking everywhere for that. Thank you, thank you. Yes. What happened today, Mum? What? No, oh, what? <laughs> no, no, you don't think that I did. <laughs> no, it wasn't me. It was your fault, really, Mum. It was not. She banished me from the house, you see, so that I didn't dirty any of the fluffy towels or make a bad impression with Chloe. Ken. Did you notice any fluffy towels, Chloe? You know what? I did, Ken, and they were exceptionally fluffy. See? <laughs> Don't blame me. I told you not to wear the suit. <laughs> he put on the suit four hours before he needed to. <laughs> so, I was in the garden trying to keep out of trouble. He was wearing his best suit. Don't forget to mention that. We have mentioned that. Well, it's important. <laughs> I was surveying my domain when I noticed that one of the pond lilies needed pruning. Well, with the house so immaculate, I didn't want Grandma to be embarrassed by a wayward front. Because Mum is notoriously embarrassed by wayward fronts. Well, that's her reputation in the village. <laughs> Did you let your father tell the story? <laughs> Thank you. So, I was thinking of making myself useful. Yes, all the time wearing his best suit. They know I'm wearing the suit. No, it's just that I had told you not to. <laughs> Do you want to tell the story? No, 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 you tell it. I just wanted you to... Not forget about the suit. I was wearing my best suit. Even though I told him it was really silly to put it on so early. Oh, right. There's one thing that I'm not quite certain about at the moment. What was Dad wearing? Yeah, I was wondering that. I'm not sure it's important, is it? No. Do you want to hear the story or not? I don't take any notice of them. I'm listening, Ken. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, it's a simple enough job. I just need to stand on one of the stones round the edge of the pool. And I lean forward a touch, and Bob, as they say, is your father's brother. No one says that, Grandad. <laughs> but being Ken, he has to choose the one stone around the pond that isn't securely fixed. Who is telling this story? But of course, being me, I choose the one stone around the pond that isn't securely fixed in place. <laughs> forward I go, splosh. Come down head first on the wire I put up to keep the bloody hair off. <laughs> well, I'm glad you find this amusing. If I'd gone a few inches to the right, I'd have cut my throat. Oh, oh, oh. Do you find it funny, Chloe? Definitely not, Cran. Good. For a moment, I don't know what's happened. I'm stunned. And I'm sinking. Down and down, deeper and deeper. That pond's only two feet deep, Grandad. <laughs> I was making no effort to save myself, excepting that this was the end. I could see the sun floating away from me. Like a balloon. <laughs> like a balloon. And I thought, well, I've had a good innings. There would be worse ways to go. And then I remembered I was in my best suit. And I knew that if Margaret saw me drowned in my best suit, she'd kill me. <laughs> <laughs> and so I waded ashore, <laughs> covered in pond life, like the creature from the Black Lagoon. Or a kraken. <laughs> I'm sorry, sweetheart. I, I didn't know you were hurt. I, I love you, really. Yes, I know. And I love you, too. And I have a surprise for you. <laughs> Clear the plates, kids. <laughs> Ta -da. Oh, no. Not the bloody pavilion. No, this had better be a joke. It's got nothing to do with the bloody pavilion. That was just a clever piece of subterfuge. Look. Ooh. A load of old photos. <laughs> wow. No, no, no. It's a family tree. Oh. I've been researching it for months. So that's what you've been doing locked up in the computer room. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yes, you're again. It's the reason why you can find the internet these days, isn't it? Not everybody's <laughs> like you, my darling. Oh, oh. look at his mum and, and Gran. Oh, Ken. I am Ken Snell, King of Kings. Look upon my works, ye mighty, and despair. <laughs> This is incredible, Dad. I mean, look at this, you lot. It's so interesting. Mm. Oh, that's in your cheek. You should look at this. It shows you where you came from. At the moment, all you kids are at the peak of the mountain. 
Now you might think that makes you the most important, but soon enough you will disappear into the mass of it, making the mountain grow. Mm, so you'd better get a move on, Ian, before one of this lot overtakes you. I'm putting in as much practice as possible, I promise you. It's, it's worn down to a nub. <laughs> really is. <laughs> well, don't leave it too late. It's time. You're 40. I'm 39. Yeah, but you're so great with the kids. You'd make a brilliant dad. Wouldn't he, though, eh? He would. Yeah. Shame he's a gay, so it won't happen. <laughs> <laughs> One day you'll be talking to your own grandkids, telling them all about old Grandad Ken and Grandma Margaret, <laughs> and telling them about who we were, what we did. And how you fell in the pond. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, hope I'll be remembered for other things than that. You won't. <laughs> Well, is my work for the community. The rebuilding of the golf pavilion. No way, Ken. I think it would just be the pond thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that's all those great-great-grandchildren know, could be worse. Give us a kiss, you. No. Stop the gaping. <laughs> I can't tell you how happy it makes me to have you all here. And to have our children with someone whom they love. Yeah. Oh, isn't that nice? Lovely, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Well, oh, that's just lovely. How about a toast? I've got a few things I'd had to get off my chest. Can I say something? <laughs> I thought the cat had got your tongue. Yes, my sweetheart. What is it? It's just that... I just wanted to say that when you're both dead, I'd like to carry on with the family tree thing. Think of it. No, no, I know what you mean, sweetheart. And when we're dead, I'd like you to have this. Cool. <gasps> I'm going back out with Billy again. Oh, <laughs> all's right with the world. One day, you know, his name might be on this tree. Ooh, for my dead body. <laughs> right, so come on, Margaret. What's for pudding? Oh, you're going to love this, Chloe. Yes, yes, you'll never have seen so many desserts in all your life. Well, <laughs> if you like Ken's tomatoes, you're going to love my puddings. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you have got uh, wicked, wicked uh, life. Uh, <laughs> Come on, you won't get anything of this. Thanks again for a terrific dinner. Now you drive sensibly now. Yes, thanks, Mum. Yes. I was planning on driving really stupidly, but... Uh... Oh, no, just drive carefully. I've, I've had a horrible feeling all day. <laughs> yes, well, you have that feeling every day. Nothing ever happens, Mum, as usual. Thanks for coming. <laughs> and uh, we, we wanted to say we're very pleased that you're both making a go of it. <laughs> Bye. Oh, my sweetheart. Thank okay. you. Oh, Phoebe. <laughs> Well, I can hardly believe it, but uh, I think we got away with it. <laughs> and who knows, you never know. Maybe. Maybe it was our first step back. Get your arm away from me. Look out! Bloody Is your daughter thinking about what, what they're doing? I've got a solution. You just don't think about it. <laughs> oh dear. Just realised I'm thinking about it. Oh no. Hi, little brother. 
Lovely to see you. Are you coming for breakfast tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Fantastic to meet you, Chloe. Mm, me too. I think you're brilliant. You know, boring. Mm -hmm. um, don't mess it up. You will. I know. <laughs> Stay in the same room. Well, you are 39. 40. Yeah, you better start getting used to saying that. It's going to be here soon enough. Chloe, it's... Mm? there's something I wanted to. I just wanted to tell you that. I... Oh, no, God. <laughs> what may yeah. I come? Yeah. No, come on. Because if you're quick, that'll be seven times in one day. And you get a gold certificate for that. No way. Mum and Dad are here. That is so wrong. And anyway, I wouldn't be able to. Mm hmm. <laughs> Why don't you just lie back and think of camp? Mm. 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 We've not done too badly, have we? Not too badly, can we? These last 45 years, any complaints? Any notes on how I could improve? Oh, well... Well, apart from the suit thing. Apart from the suit thing. Mm. <laughs> no complaints. <laughs> Do you think we've been good parents, Ken? Yes. They've all turned out all right. Apart from Simon. And Ian. Good night, my love. God bless. That was a bit embarrassing, wasn't it? That's why we don't allow them to share a broom.